So why do you follow Jesus? Is it because of what he can do for you? Or simply because of who he is? It says, do not work for the food that perishes, but for the food that endures to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For on him, God the Father has set his seal. And that's the reason we should follow him. Now, I understand we're currently trapped in these physical bodies. We need food to survive. Um, so we will constantly pursue feeding our bodies with bread, or as we call, pursue money, our bread. Um, but what matters more? This body, which frankly is deteriorating every day and will eventually return to the dust of the ground for which it's made, for our eternal souls. We all know the logical answer, yet what do we spend more time feeding? Our physical bodies or our souls? And they said to him, what must we do to be doing the works of God? Jesus answered them, this is the work of God, that you believe in him whom he has sent. So there it is. Jesus just presented the gospel. We're saved not because of our merits or because God's going to be impressed with the works we do or the fish or the loaves that we bring to him. We are saved through faith, through grace. This is the work of God that you believe in him, he said. So they said to him, then what sign do you do that we may see and believe you? What work do you perform? Now this is amazing. They're saying this right off of him performing all these miracles, uh, healing the sick and lepers and all these things. And he just fed the 5,000. But as typical of human nature, even though he just performed all these miracles, they just want more. Rome presented its citizens bread and circuses to keep them entertained. That's what they want from Jesus. More bread and more circuses. But he has something more important to offer. They continue. They say, our fathers ate manna in the wilderness as it is written. He gave them bread from heaven to eat. Jesus then said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, it was not Moses who gave you the bread from heaven, but my Father gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is he who comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. They said to her, Sir, give us this bread always. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me shall not hunger. And whoever believes in me shall never thirst. But I said to you that you have seen me, and yet you do not believe. All that the Father gives me will come to me. And whoever comes to me I will never cast out. For I have come down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I should not lose of all that he has given me, but raise it up on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who looks on the Son and believes in Him should have eternal life, and I will raise Him up on the last day. 